Hello everybody, this is Sarah Scopic and you're watching an episode of Kathy Rain. So we've been trying to figure out some information. It seems like my grandpa probably also was trying to save his friends from... You know, I was thinking about this. I bet Jimmy had the same issue that Eileen does. Maybe? No, she has the same issue that her my, my grandpa did. I don't quite know. He's trying to save them and I'm trying to save my friend. And I don't know what else to do. So, we've got a lot of stuff. Thinner. Oh, that's right. So unfortunately, I think I need to destroy one of Lily's last paintings. Which, in my opinion, just seems like a horrible idea, but I may not have a choice. So, I'm gonna guess that there's some secret that these people are all assuming that Lily hid in one of her paintings. And it just so happens that the one painting it's in is the one painting yeah, painting her mother didn't sell. I just can't believe they destroyed the paintings like that. Ugh. Terrible. Alright. Can't believe I'm doing this. Okay. Sorry, Sue. Yeah. What? A hidden picture. No. What? Oh my god, that's Nathan. He's holding a girl underwater. It must be Lily. What? Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, how would she can't she can't have predicted her own death? Lily wrote a suicide note, so either she planned this or or saw it. Or saw it. What is this? Wait, 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 Nathan? Nathan? Yes? I know about Lily, Nathan. I like Lily. Yeah? Nathan, tell me what happened the day Lily died. I don't know. It's okay, Nathan. I'm a friend. I know the Red Man, too. You... you yeah. do? Yes. He told me to ask you about what happened to Lily. He said that you would tell me the truth. Because <sighs> Kathy, you are so manipulative. Oh. Aren't you, Nathan? Oh my gosh. Lily was angry that time. Angry and sad. Mostly angry. Yeah. Angry with you? Angry with everybody. Mama was asleep, Papa too. Okay, what happened next? Lily wanted to go down to the lake. She told me to hold her under the water for a while. Yeah. She said I had to. She had painted it, and everything she painted was supposed to happen. Yeah? I, I didn't want to, but Lily said she would tell Mama that I was bad if I didn't. Why? But the Red Man says it was an accident, and that Lily is in a better place. So Lily must have... I mean, she foresaw it, but I'm wondering if she was starting to go a little crazy, too. But none of this makes any sense to me. She was starting to go a little crazy, too, so she was just like, Well, you know, I, I foresee that you will do it, so... But then she kind of made it happen. It's okay, Nathan. Lily was sick. It's not anyone's fault. When did you first meet the Red Man? I don't know. I, I see him in the woods sometimes. He and Lily always fought. fought? They did. Uh, about what? He wanted Lily to take her medicine. What medicine? What kind of medicine? Pills to make her less sad and angry? I don't know. Just medicine. But you know what? It's okay. I still talk to her all the time. What are you talking you about? You talk to Lily? And she talks back? Yes. Uh... Take me to her, Nathan. Take me to Lily. You promise not to tell Mama? I won't. I promise. Take me there. Okay. What? <laughs> Foot to foot to foot. No, it's in, in the scary woods. We're going to the scary woods. How about we not go in the scary woods? Oh, jeez, I'm gonna regret this. Oh, great! Now I see the lights. How did you see? make the lights appear? 
Get away from them, Nathan. They're dangerous. I don't even know what they are. <laughs> no, they're what? nice. Look. Maybe they can't affect him for some reason. <laughs> hi, hi. Ooh. Poor little Menda met her end. Witnessed so much she could not comprehend. Mender, didn't he call? Was it Lily the Mender? Claimed by the yeah, lake, okay. she screamed to her god, struggled for air as she twisted and clawed. Oh, oh stop, please. Interesting, because he's always black and white the other times that we see him, and then that now this is black and white and he's not. Ooh. But all was in vain, and her cries went unheard. It was a heartbreaking theater of the absurd. Yeah? What are you talking about? There, there. You're being dramatic. What? Is he the old Dead. god? No pain, no gain. At least that color looks good on you. What? Astute observation, Bill. This room does hold the key. the key. Well then, it's been a pleasure talking to you. But we already got a key. Jesus. Look, he ain't here. <laughs> Nathan? Where'd... How long was I out? Where'd Nathan go? Let's just leave. Are you gonna go back to the cabin? Probably should take that picture down. Before mom sees it, before Sue sees it, and freaks out that somebody just like... I'm surprised we take the painting. Be like, oh, uh oh, it got stolen, I guess. <laughs> Oops. Oh no, nobody's here. Where is Susan? Or Sue? Where is she? Okay, let's just let's just get on the Catmobile. <laughs> anyway, I go to the church. The church. It holds this room. Holds the key. What key? The only place we haven't looked is the cabinet. But I've been trying to open the cabinet. And there's nothing I can do. I tried to open the cabinet and I couldn't get anything from it. Okay. I'm just gonna click on all the other things. Pick it up. Okay, I was wondering, I was like, maybe it's a portrait? Ah, a hidden safe. okay. Now we're getting there's somewhere. There's also a poem here, written by Father Bill. Oh, I know these things. If there's a poem written by a safe, it must mean that's how you figure out the password. Okay, I see, I see. I copied it to my notepad. Perfect. What is it? I lie in the center of the mark of the Lord. My wife gazes down as my sons stand below. I witnessed three dawns, felt warmth in my skin. The radium bronze lay nearby, not within. From east to west, I, tu I touched every soul. From last to brief, their parts made a whole. <laughs> Do I light it on fire? Okay, so it's some kind of number password. How many can I figure out how many numbers it is at least? Okay. <laughs> I love it. Alright, good to know it's a six digit code. Hmm, this is a six digit code, so it's probably a date of some kind. Okay, well, let's go back to the mausoleum, because I bet that's where we'll find the code. Because it's probably a date. Could try the day he died? That seems a little weird, though. I mean, there's a bunch of different dates I can try. Doop-a-doop-a-doo, doop-a-doop-a-doo, doop-a-doop-a-doop-a-doop-a-doop-a-doop. Alright, 
walkie, 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 walkie. Into the mausoleum where we're gonna figure out what date to put on there. All right. Hmm. I wondered about that. Okay. Okay. I lie in the center of the mark of the Lord. My wife gazes down as my son stand below. Okay. I mean... I assume that that's what that means. My wife gazes down as my son stand below. Oh, oh, I didn't think about that. Okay. Center. <laughs> Clear selection. Okay. Uh, I lie in the center. There's no real center here. <laughs> um... Okay, sign of the lore is a cross. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There we go. Oh, that kind of cross. Oh. <laughs> okay. I wasn't. Okay. Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay. Because <laughs> yeah, they would be aligned. Okay. So I see. So we are slowly but surely trying to pin down which dates he cares about. Obviously this is out because there are no dates here. And I'm gonna guess this is out because, well, eh, that does say out. Okay, I witnessed three dawns, felt warmth on my skin, the radiant bronze lay nearby, not within. Three dawns, um, I mean, I'm guessing... Okay, well I was guessing he meant like three births, but let me see. It would be their date of birth, but- oh, I witnessed three. He would have witnessed his own and his son's. Oh, okay. What? Oh, Jesus, that's what they meant? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just started clicking randomly because I was like so sick of- I couldn't understand what he was talking about. Okay, I thought they meant witness as in he was physically as a person present at three dawns, which I kept being like, well, his son's and him. They mean the three nearest to the- because they're just talking about graves, not him as a person. Gosh, I feel stupid. Anyway, I figured this out through press of elimination. The one's touching the grave. Okay. I just have to pick one, I guess. Okay, from east to west, I touched every soul. Well, east to west would be right to left. From lasting to brief, their parts made whole. Okay. East to west. Touched every soul. I'm guessing that means it's going this way, and every single one, from lasting to brief, their parts made whole. Um, I'm just gonna take a wild guess. Yeah, okay. Didn't, yep, year, month, day, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> okay, got it the first time, finally. Alright, 611122. Well, that's a very intricate way of trying to remember a code. See, here's the problem. Like, if you weren't gonna make, if you're gonna make a code like that, that's not how you would. Re he obviously made that poem for someone to solve, not for him to remember. There's no way you would remember a code like that through a poem like that. That wasn't a reminder. That was so someone could figure it out. <laughs> All right, that's what that was. That's what that was. Uh, I guess restart my timer. Okay, resume. All right, so let's go figure out. What this opens? Apparently I can't go back there. Good to know. 
Go back to the church. I'm gonna open the church door thingamabobber. Alright. Let's get going. Alright. Let's. I think I remember the code. Excuse me. Six. One, two, three, two, two. Aha! Did it. What are you open? Yes! Okay. What I found. I found a bunch of torn out Bible pages and a tape oh. in there. That's not creepy at all. What Bible pages? <laughs> what Bible pages? The mending. Uh, listen, I may not have read like 100% of the Bible, but I don't remember this being anywhere in there. <laughs> The mending is the sacred unity with God and the only way to reach true salvation. That also does not sound like biblical language, not even like the uh, NIV version. The Crimson One Fine. What version of Bible is this from? Is this from the from the old God's version? I don't remember this. <laughs> the Crimson One finds lost souls on behalf of God. Okay. Obviously. That's the that guy in red. Unshackled by time, he guides them, bestows wisdom upon them, he grants them dreams and visions, preparing them for the mending. So apparently I'm being prepared for the mending. Oh, great. The living menders must then descend upon the stairs of judgment. Each step reflects a piece of their soul. Then they will face their shadow self, a servant of God who will oppose them at every turn. Lastly, the menders shall perform the three holy sacraments. The three holy sacraments. Um, okay. To unite with God, three holy sacraments are formed. Atonement of the Mother, absolution of the Father, the contrition for the Son. I don't even know what contrition means. Google? Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Define contrition. Well, there you go, folks. <laughs> Apparently, that's just a fancy word for repentance. I don't know why they just say that. That's a pretty typical biblical language. God shall then gaze upon the mender, weighing their heart. Well, they shall be cleansed of sin and be allowed to reach sacred duty. FB? De question mark. <laughs> um, and then, sorry, just get my clock back up. The damned shall have their heart consumed, be cast into the abyss. J C L M J R. Okay. J C. That's my. What's my last name again? I I think I assume that was Joseph. This is Lily Myers. That also could be Joseph. Oh no, that's Jimmy Cochran. That's Jimmy. Lily Myers. And that might be yeah, Rain. Rain. That's. What's my name? Only the name of the game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jimmy Cochran, Lily Myers, and Joseph Rain. FB. The only FB I can think of is Father Bill. But I don't know why they went just to the W. Where is last thing? Who wrote these, though? Alright. Oh, there's also a tape. Combine it with this. Examine and listen. This is William T. Alright. My visions concerning my sons are <laughs> very southern accent. I've watched them become corrupted with pride, turning their backs on our prophet, the crimson. Oh. I've seen the history of the church wiped clean, replaced with trickery and lies. Yeah. This message is part of a fail safe. Should these predictions come to pass, I've hidden it so that only the true agents of the old God, selected by the Crimson One, may find it. Now, heed these words. You must stare into the abyss and let the abyss. That seems like a bad idea. It's the only of sin and achieve true salvation. May God be with you. So, well, let me get this straight. They serve this old God. The Father Bill did. And he was, he was okay. He wasn't a bad guy for that. 
But his sons... Hmm. His sons were the ones that had been using this for evil things. So they're the bad guys. What? <laughs> and, and then Father Bill was worried about that, so he set this whole thing into motion so that someone like me could find it. And stop his sons? Did I get all that? Okay, let's just keep going. But that means we're gonna have to go back and ask her, ask Isaac some questions. And hopefully save Eileen. Because that is the most important part of all this. Oh boy, but we're gonna figure that out in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you are still into this, because I'm gonna solve this mystery. No matter what it takes. Even if I have to stare in the abyss, and the abyss stares back at me. Thank you for joining me, folks. And remember, peace, joy, love, and coy, everybody. Thank <laughs> you.